Hey Aquarius, how are you? So I was meditating on you guys' energy and I really feel like this message is for Divine Masculine. And I say this because um, I was seeing Divine Masculine like um, walking around his home and um, you know, there was someone there with him, but it, he wasn't focused on what that person was saying to him. He was more looking around like, did you hear that? Did you see that? So divine feminine, uh, divine masculine, sorry. Um, you could be, uh, I, I feel, going through your awakening right now. And um, some of you could also be going through... Um, realizing that you are a medium um if you've had a deceased loved one passed away recently you are definitely picking up on that energy um you could be seeing apparitions around things like that and then you know just a little flash of them and spirits slowly trying to you know guide you in they don't want to scare you or anything like that but tr slowly and especially if you have a um deceased loved one that just recently passed away. They are definitely wanting to um, help you heal. Um, they're trying to contact you and communicate with you. Um, just to let you know that they are there, they're still there with you, things like that. And so um, I don't want you to get scared or anything like that. Just this is what's going on. Also too, uh, Spirit wants you to do your research. Look, look at your um, cultural history and um just start doing your research on your background things like that so you can know about apparitions and stuff you know definitely meditate mm -hmm. you have the empress at the bottom of the deck you could have had a um your girlfriend could have lost a child you could be picking up on that baby but i was actually um seeing a little girl um four around that age mm -hmm. two of cups somebody you was definitely close to was definitely um is definitely trying to reach out to you You have judgment right here. It's coming out because it's, it's, it's time for you to step into your calling. And this is why I was saying, you know, do your research. Don't be frightened. It's, 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 <laughs> I know it's easier said than done, but yeah. King of Cups is at the bottom of the deck because you could be very emotional right now. I'm very sensitive um, to a lot of things. I heard to nature. Mm-hmm. The Knight of Cups is out here. You're just ready and willing to help in this giving energy, things like that. Like I said, you're very sensitive, very emotional. Um, a lot is going on with you, a lot of changes. But see, what comes with this mediumship, um, you'll be able to pick up on a lot of sensitivity, a lot of... Um, a little bit of everything smells uh food a, a lot of things that you are experiencing right now could be very sensitive at this moment so be mindful of that be mindful of what you eat i heard spirit say no uh late night snacks what's going on High Priestess, Three of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, The Fool. Yeah, see, somebody doesn't want you to be happy because all this came out in the reverse. You have the High Priestess, which is definitely like a uh, block intuition. Somebody's definitely trying to, um, I heard, cut you off. Somebody doesn't want your intuition. Somebody don't want you to wake up. Somebody doesn't want you to realize who you really are. You have the Three of Pentacles. It's somebody you um, deal with, I heard, on a daily basis. Ace of Cups, this is actually um, speaking of, you know, gifts, new love, things like that. Which in this case could be either this child energy that I was picking up for you, Divine Masculine, or, you know, a loved one, things like that. And then you have the Fool in their... Um, in the reverse.
Yeah, the devil, the six of wands. You have the knight of wands with the emperor. I feel like right now with this Knight of Wands, it's it's time for you to kind of rock solo dolo. And I just say this because you have a lot of people in your energy and you need peace. These trees are symbolic to peace. Um, they all, uh, I've always heard if you're like stressed out or anything like that, then you can go outside, sit under the tree and just, you know, bring peace. You can also talk to a tree. <laughs> I know it sounds silly, but I'm telling you, once you start doing your research and really just tapping in, you're going to be like, oh my gosh. And that's when you're going to tap into this emperor energy right here. And you're going to realize, you know, that you, you do hold this power. You bring that authority. You are justice. And look at this emperor sitting on this tree. That's so funny how there was some trees was pointed out to me. I'm really concerned about this death confirmation. Um, mm -hmm. Temperance. Because I keep hearing something wicked. Something was done. That devil card popped out. And I don't know if um, like you're trying to have a baby. Or um, you had a deceased loved one that was... Um, Unalive. But I, I am concerned about this deceased loved one. If that is the case which you're dealing with. If not, um, Divine Masculine, then you are definitely experiencing apparitions in your energy. And they're just letting you know that it's time to tap into your gift. What else? With this Queen of Wands popping out, I heard have faith. The Queen of Wands, you know, it, it speaks of courage. Um, I heard momentum. this queen of wands you have someone um from your past i feel like doing like root work on you they want you single they want you to yourself that hermit card was definitely at the bottom of the deck spirit can you clarify please mm -hmm. two of wands you didn't choose them three of wands with the five of pentacles um, you're getting ready to experience some turbulence and it might just be financial. And I just say this because you're going on your journey moving forward. And so with this, um, with this three of wands with the five of pentacles, don't overspend and, and save your money. And I just say this because when you're tapping into your spiritual journey, you know, um, and you start realizing people do spells and things like that, you could, you know, go out and start buying crystals, salt, um, you know, different plants and stuff, um, you know, just different things, You can, buying cards, tarot, doing, you know, messages, things like that. But, you know, just stay focused and watch your money because honestly, um, you really don't even need all that. And especially with you being a medium, you get messages just like that. I'm telling you, like I blink in a message. So <laughs> it's just, it, it'll be that quick for you. And so, um, other other things to moving forward. I heard be on the lookout. Yeah. I feel like this Queen of Wands is definitely doing like um uh, moon moon spells, moon magic, things like that. Two of Pentacles, Six of Swords. 
See, this chimney was being pointed out to me in this house, this steam, because this person is enraged. This um this past person, I don't know um who you broke up with. They're mad. Their their favorite color could be purple. Um, two of Pentacles, Six of uh, Swords with the Queen of Swords. This person is debating about coming towards you, either coming to your house or coming towards you wherever you are. Um, to start some trouble, to start some drama. Definitely want to get something off, off, off their chest. Yeah, Six of Cups, whatever happened in the past. Ten of Cups is in, in the reverse. Okay, okay. Nine of Cups. See, somebody's heartbroken because... Um, I don't know if you wanted a family with this person. And see, they need to tell you the truth. They got pregnant, but they did something to lose this child. And I think that's what this child is trying to uh, let you know. And if you're not experiencing any deceased loved ones from your past, then this is definitely your ancestors just reaching out to you, letting you know it's time to do your research. It's time to go to school, baby. Pack it up. Let's go. Um, so, yeah. But also be mindful of someone from your past. Mm -hmm. You got the five of swords out here with the page of swords. Definitely, somebody is definitely watching you. Somebody do not want you to grow. And so be mindful of your energy. Um, and also, too, pay attention to your body. Because when you get around negative energies, people that, um, that secretly mean you harm, you start to get hot. It's like a hot flash and you're just like, well, where did that come from? Like, what's going on with my body? That's your body trying to tell you, uh-oh, something's not right. So just be mindful of that. Mm -hmm. This temperance angel is popped out again because spirit wants you to get balance. And uh, meditation would definitely help you out getting balance. And I, meditation takes time. It takes some practice. And you're not going to get it just right off the bat the first time. It definitely takes practice. But I always recommend meditation just because of, in the long run, it pays off. It makes your job as a medium easier. And then when you find yourself getting stressed out, you're having too many visions, too many downloads, however y'all like to say. Um, it really does help to actually calm you down, get sort of that anxiety, things like that. So I love meditation. It helps me. But if you have any other way to help you calm down, make you relax, and just so you can really focus and have a clear mind, then do it. You know, this is just not the only way. But I love meditation because also too, you get answers and you get more messages and full detail, things like that. So that's why I recommend med uh, meditation. What else, spirit? Yeah, see, Page of Pentacles is you learning something new. Six of Cups with the Knight of Pentacles. I really feel like you were digging with... You were dealing with someone... <clears throat> who was more focused on them in the past than um, rather than starting a family, you know? They could have told you, oh yeah, I want kids. They didn't want any kids. But see, now, since they did whatever they did to lose that child, they're in regret because I, that messed up something in their body. I'm seeing that the clamps that they use Never mind. Because um, <laughs> I know it's the, this is for divine masculine, so I don't want to gross you out. But um, she's having major complications because now she wants a child. She wants a family. And she most likely cannot have any. And it'd be a, it'd be a huge process for her to have any kids. So I'm um, going to say that. Is, she's definitely a high risk. Um, but, you know... Uh, it's because of what she has done in the past. Now, um, for those of you that are not experienced this with this um, deceased child, you definitely have a past person in your energy trying to figure out how to get to you. 
and how to slow you down. You're doing way better than they are and they are stuck. And with this um, queen of wands out here, you know, they, they miss you. But they really miss how you, you know, you take care and you provide for them. Because this person just wants to sit on their damn ass and, you know, be lazy. The Page of Pentacles in the, in the regular tarot uh, rider deck, the Page of Pentacles is usually standing up holding that pinnacle. Which is symbolic to someone actually searching, you know, for their past. But see, this person is actually laying on the floor. Just like what I said, they just want to sit down and collect. So, um... You definitely have to be mindful of people like that that's in the energy. And I know Divine Masculine, you don't mind taking care of, you know, home and paying all the bills and stuff like that. But, you know, you don't you don't have to do it all. Now, if that's your choice, that's your choice. But you don't have to just do it all by yourself. All right. I hope this helped Aquarius. If you have any questions, please comment, email me, whatever's convenient for you. I do answer. I do respond. So reach out if you need anything else. All right. Love you. Bye.